First one we're going to make is uh, beef and sausage with uh, mushrooms. So, got to spread the sauce out. And you're talking about this size jar. You want to uh, use. Uh, I'm, I'm free, yeah. You want to use about half of it. He was above the camera. You want to get total coverage. You need to back up a little bit then. Put the chairs in. Hey, make it happen. Okay, no. so total coverage. There you go. Pizza sauce. Yeah. The next thing that goes on the pizzas is always the cheese. Oh, really? So we're using mozzarella cheese. All right? And don't be shy. You know, a lot of people say, there wasn't enough cheese on my pizza. Don't be that person. Mozzarella cheese. Push it all the way out to the edge if you want. That's what I like. I don't need that piece of crust that don't have anything on it. So we want total coverage again. There's the mozzarella cheese. We're going to take and we're going to put a pound of that beef sausage mix that we made earlier. Uh oh, seems like a lot. So it's no big deal because if you don't use the whole pound, and we're not gonna, then uh, we'll just save it for that SOS. Get that. Get that. Come over here and get that. Remember, we're gonna make that SOS with the same beef and sausage. And I have two more pounds of it over here. So whatever we don't use on these pizzas, we'll just add to the uh, Sloppy Joes or the SOS. Okay, so I'm going to throw some uh, chopped mushrooms on that pizza and uh, some bacon. And that's about it. Okay, now this one over here, we're making a cowboy pizza. I kind of washed my hands because I was in the middle of something. Got my hands. Wash your hands often. Okay, so you can do this with ketchup. Or you can do it with barbecue sauce. It would depend, do you like your cheeseburger with ketchup on it? Or do you like your bacon cheeseburger with barbecue sauce on it? Now this kind of pizza, we're not looking for total coverage. We just want the lines. But again, Right after the sauce is the mozzarella. Don't be shy. See, and I screwed up. Everybody screws up sometimes. The cowboy pizza. This one's gonna be a little weird because it has mozz in it. The cowboy pizza gets cheddar cheese, just like your cheeseburger gets cheddar cheese, not mozzarella, right? That ain't gonna hurt nothing, little mozz in there. Cheddar cheese. This is a cheddar and jack blend. That'll be fine. It'll be like a cheeseburger with cheddar and jack cheese on it. Looking for coverage. Here's your coverage. Now the cowboy pizza is also going to get some bacon. This bacon's easy. You buy it at the store. It's already cooked. It's in bits. So far I haven't seen anything wrong with it. Except it's got these little poison packets in it. Get some bacon on our cheeseburger. Air conditioning needs to come on. The air conditioning needs to come on. Now we're going to uh, use that same beef mix, and it looks like I split a pound between the two pieces. So I'm going to have an extra pound of this beef and sausage mixture, you can either put half of it with your SOS or half of it and half of it with your uh, Sloppy Joes or you can do something else with it. 
What else can you do with beef, Mrs. Phillips? Burritos. Burritos, yes. You can make burritos. Just put that meat in a burrito shell with your what? Say it. El Patsy sauce. Yeah, El Pato Mexican tomato sauce. You know, your, your uh, sour cream, cheese. Is that basically it, Mrs. Phillips? Yeah. Okay, we're done here. I'm going to cook these at 425 for 12 minutes. And remember, the ingredients are already cooked. We're just heating it. What so about that minutes. can of mushrooms? It's perfect. I'm going to put this can of mushrooms on uh, news pizza. And uh, after you cook it? 425. Was I cooking them at 425? Yeah. Well, it says on the package. 450, I think. 450 for 12 minutes. Okay, kill it. 